became the ninth person being held at the Fulton County Jail to die in custody this year alone. Since last August, 18 families have suffered the same trauma. Atlanta News First reporter Doug Reardon spoke to one family today, and Doug, uh, they also got response from the sheriff's office on this serious trend. Right, we did, but let's go back to that statistic and pull it out even more. Over the last couple of years, since 2019, we're talking about 26 people who have died in custody inside of this building. Now, Davion Blake was the latest one this week. He was actually stabbed, get this, with a makeshift weapon made out of a piece of the crumbling jail wall. Now, Sheriff Pat Labot here in Fulton County blames the building. The family today say they're upset about something else. It's horrible. And Fulton County needs to do better. Fulton County is responsible for this. Holding back tears Friday, Sonia Marquise talks about her nephew, Davion Blake, the father of a two-year-old. Blake was stabbed to death this week inside the Fulton County Jail. Now we don't get to spend any more holidays with him. He doesn't get to enjoy his birthday that was going to be at the end of this month on the 28th. It's just a lot. It's just a lot. Blake had been incarcerated since January on minor drug possession and battery charges. His family hoping to finally post his bond this week, but they never got the chance. Everybody deserves to come home. Yes, this is a temporary moment. It shouldn't be the end. Blake was the ninth person in custody to die this year inside the Fulton County Jail. In a statement, Sheriff Pat Labot called the trend gravely concerning, but not surprising, and renewed his calls for a brand new jail facility. I'm not aware of any other county, city, state that is experiencing a rash of deaths and mistreatment and abuse um, like what's going on in Fulton County right now. He spent a lot of time inside the Fulton County Jail. He's less concerned about the facility and far more concerned about the lack of jail staff and a concerning backlog of court cases that's keeping people inside for months or years without a trial. It's not a building issue. It's a people issue. Charles Rambo, a retired lieutenant with the Fulton County Sheriff's Office, supervised the very same floor in the jail where Blake was killed. He, too, says the blame needs to be shared. It's not just squarely upon the sheriff, but it's also squarely upon the judges and the prosecutors to get these uh, uh, dockets moving towards speedy trials. Whether you got a solid case or not, you cannot keep people inside this jail forever. And in his statement today, County Sheriff Pat Labot said that they are working with other agencies, other facilities, even some that are out of state to relocate people who are incarcerated here to those less crowded facilities if that comes to it. We're live outside the Fulton County Jail. Doug Reardon, Atlanta News First. Thank you, Doug. Right now